Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Latif and if you're new here, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button, switch on your notifications and make sure to comment on my videos. So today's going to be a really quick one. I'm going to give you a quick review on the Garden of Wisdom Alpha Butin and Kojic Acid Serum. So this product is absolutely phenomenal for tackling hyperpigmentation. If you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you would be aware that I'm forever talking about this product because it is at such an amazing price point. It's at £12. So, I mean, when you look at its competitors, you can't get any better than that. So without further ado, let's just jump into the product. So I don't know if you can see it, but this is the Garden of Wisdom Alpha Butin and Kojic Acid. Now, it's actually slightly misleading because it actually has more amazing ingredients in it. So it actually has niacinamide and it has vitamin C or a derivative of vitamin C. So what you've got here is essentially four tyrosinase inhibitors. And when I refer to tyrosinase inhibitors, and you know, you could Google the term or you can either visit one of my videos on hyperpigmentation, these are essentially... A tyrosinase inhibitor is something which essentially controls the overproduction of melanin and this can happen in, in a multitude of ways and again if you want more detail on that you can go back to my you know in-depth video on hyperpigmentation but as you can imagine the reason why I think that this product is you know amazing and why it's worked so well for me is because with four different ingredients it tackles hyperpigmentation in four different ways which I find to be extremely important so when we think about hyperpigmentation it's not necessarily that one ingredient fixes it, right? So you have some tyrosinase inhibitors, which, you know, increase cellular turnover and, you know, as a result, fix hyperpigmentation. You have like kojic acid, as I've spoken about before, which kind of binds the copper and prevents um, the tyrosinase enzyme from doing its job properly. Um, you have niacinamide, which, you know, um, impacts the keratin on the, you know, surface skin cells of your epidermis, your epidermis, sorry. So, when you have something that's like a four in one, as you can imagine, that's absolutely great. It's also great for people that are new to skincare. Let's be honest, if you're new to skincare, you are probably messing a lot of stuff up. You're confused. If you are trying to tackle hyperpigmentation, you're probably a bit desperate. So you're mixing everything um, around. And what I found that's great about this product is that it's a kind of one-stop shop, right? You've got four tyrosinase inhibitors. It's at £12. Absolutely amazing. Now, a few things to note about this product is that it's most of the ingredients are very low concentration. So it doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to be like in seven days, boom. No, certainly not. I find this to be a kind of slower, worth the money, um, kind of product. So again, you are looking at niacinamide at like 1.5%, Kojic acid at 1%, um, alpha butin and the vitamin C derivative at 2%. So again, nothing that's like, oh my God, like 5% through the roof, whatever. But again, it's something that's been formulated in a way whereby you can actually use it every single day and you can use it in the morning and in the evening. What I would say is that if you do not plan on wearing sunscreen, don't bother using it. But again, like I said, it's £12. So as you can imagine, this is a bargain. Now, when you think about other kind of products that are, you know, marketed or, you know, created for hyperpigmentation, they tend to have one or two standalone ingredients. Now, again, as I've alluded to, is that this is great because it has four. And its price point really sticks out because where else are you going to find something for £12 that has four tyrosinase inhibitors? I think when I think about really effective things that I've used, Faded obviously comes up as a number one, but again, Faded is about £28.36, I believe. So, you know, £12 is amazing. Something else I've used is from um, Noid, which is the pigmentation. So Noid is like the sister brother brand of The Ordinary, and that's at about £50. So as you can imagine, for £12, this is a real steal. Now, you could get this at Victoria Health. I'll put all the details down below because you guys always ask and it's always inside the description box. Um, but I think it is truly an amazing product. Now, the one thing I would actually just kind of know is that, again, this has various different ingredients in it, the main four, as I've mentioned. So just kind of be quite conservative if you're going to mix this in with other stuff. So again, if you're using maybe a niacinamide or a kojic acid already in your routine, um, in that particular a.m. or p.m., there's probably not that much, in my opinion, and in a need for you to do it twice, right? You want to make sure that you are not overexposing your skin to the same 
product, which is all same ingredients, which I think is really, really important. Another thing, and although this is actually quite gentle, um, the way it's been formulated, I would say is do make sure to patch test. I say this all the time for everything. Make sure to patch test. And you could do this by using your wrist, your inner elbow, or behind your air. And sometimes some people have like a delayed response, um, which, you know, again, is perfectly normal. I tend to have a delayed response. So what I do is that I test or patch test this product three days in a row. And if nothing happens, I'm like, okay, I'm good in the same place. So you may want to do that. But otherwise, again, just make sure you are not overexposing your skin to the same ingredients. So if you're already using, for example, the Koji Sen Lightning Soap, in my opinion, there's no need for you in the same AM routine to use this product. And I think most people would agree with that. So look, that is my brief review. Um, I think I've basically covered everything. I'm really enjoying these kind of short videos. If you've used it um, or if you have any questions, as always, please do leave a comment below. Um, and if you've enjoyed it, just remember to give it a thumbs up um, and just make sure that you are subscribing and following the page. So yeah, that's everything from me and make sure to have a good evening because I'm filming this in the evening, but, or in your case, wherever you're watching it, a good morning. <laughs>